Hey everybody, it's Jeff with Helper Geeks. Uh, today I'm going to show you a few different options for backing up your photos on your phone. Um, if you're not backing up your photos, you really, really need to be doing that. Um, if you're like me, you probably take tons of photos and videos on your phone. Um, they're great cameras, so it makes a lot of sense. Um, and they're always with us. And if something gets damaged, if you lose it, um, they're gone. Those photos are gone right with the phone. And you're not going to get them back um, unless you get really lucky. So the, the simplest uh, peace of mind option there is to back up your photos. Um, if you have an iPhone, um, I'm going to show you that option first. And then there's two other options on here that you can also use across different devices, um, which also make some pretty uh, good options in, in and of themselves. So if you have an iPhone, uh, the simplest thing you can do for yourself right now is to go into settings, um, scroll down until you see photos and camera and turn on the option for use iCloud photo library. Um, it's gonna automatically upload and store your photos in the library. Um, you can also do this uh, option to uh, optimize your iPhone storage. So if it starts getting full on your iPhone, it'll replace the full resolution photos with really high quality versions that are just much smaller in size, but still far um, more than you need to just look at them on a phone or a device. Um, and then the full resolutions will still be available on the cloud. Uh, but this is a great option because it's free um, and it's real simple. It does it all in the background. You don't have to worry about anything. If you start using up all that iCloud space, uh, you have to pay um, for a little bit more of the storage. Um, I think the, the plan I'm on is something like 3 or $4 a month and it's something like 200 or 250 gigabytes, which is really pretty reasonable. But um, it might not be a good option for everyone. And the other thing is if you have other devices that aren't um, Apple, then it's not necessarily the easiest way to, to uh, view and, and look at your photos that are backed up uh, on other devices. So the other option, um, one of the other options I wanted to show you was Dropbox. Um, Dropbox is something that a lot of people use for uh, cloud storage of their files. It integrates really nicely with uh, your Windows and Mac OSs. Um, if you're in the Dropbox app and you go to Recent um, on an iOS device and you click the little settings toggle, um, one of the first options you're gonna see here is camera uploads. You touch that, if you turn it on, boom, you're now uploading all your photos. By default, um, use cellular data is turned off, which is really good because if you um, don't have a really big data plan, you don't wanna be using your cellular, your mobile data to upload your photos. Um, you wanna be connected to Wi-Fi. Um, otherwise, it's just that's gonna use your data really quickly. Um, you can also tell it whether or not you wanna upload your videos, which are considerably bigger files than photos. Um, and again, that would be another reason why you might not want to have cellular data um, turned on. Um, and I would always recommend just doing it over Wi-Fi. And background uploading, um, this for iOS, if you turn it on, it means it'll keep uploading in the background while you're doing something else. Um, if you don't want the app running all the time, then you can turn that off. Um, but that's one good option because you can access Dropbox really easily, uh, easily across multiple devices, whether it's Android, or computers, uh, PCs, uh, Macs, and iOS. And probably the most seamless option, in my opinion, between Android and everything else um, is the third one I wanted to show you, which is Google Photos. Google Photos is automatically um, on all of the Android devices these days, and it does a really good and seamless job of backing up the photos. The app is nearly identical on iOS. Um, in fact, if it, it, just like on Android, if you click on the three bars up here, um, you want to turn on your uh, camera upload. You go, you just go to settings, backup and sync is your first option here, um, and you can turn it on. You can keep it off. It has the cellular option uh, for photos and for videos, similar to the Dropbox app. And uh, the other really cool thing about uh, Google Photos is it has this free unlimited storage if you want just the high quality version of your photos, which like I was saying before with the iCloud um, optimized storage setting, high quality uh, versions of your photos, when you're looking at them on your phone and uh, videos and photos on your phone in, in the quote unquote high quality settings that they have are still spectacular looking. Um, you really wouldn't even notice the difference in most cases. It just means that it wouldn't be backing up the full resolution version of the photo, which most people are only gonna need if they really wanna print um, a rather large version of the photo or they wanna do something with it in Photoshop or some other apps. They wanna zoom in a lot on it and still have good quality. So for most people, and when we're talking about just for the simple need to back up so you don't lose it, um, that's a really good option and I would recommend it because it's free. If you wanted to 
use original resolution, um, you can do that too, and it's gonna limit itself to the amount of storage that you have. With Google, when you sign up for Gmail um, and Google Drive and all that, it's all the same, it's all connected to Gmail, you get five gigabytes for free. Now, I have a terabyte plan um, that I pay for because I use Google Drive a lot, um, and they have tiered plans just like all the other ones, so you can, you can get more um, and use it as much as you want and keep all your full res photos if you want to, but if you don't want to do all that, you're going to get all of your photos, unlimited storage um, space with Google, just with that app, or, um, just with that setting. So that's a great, great option. It's really easy to access across multiple devices, Android and iOS, and it's really easy to access on the computer as well. Um, photos.google.com, I believe, is the address. Another really cool thing about the Google Photos app is it allows you to automatically make animations and collages and movies out of the things that it does back up. Um, and albums if you want. Um, but then it also does some, some things with your photos. This is a, a wallpaper that I uploaded and it did some automatic stylizing with under this assistant setting, which is pretty neat. Um, this photo didn't look like that before. It, it'll do that with some of your photos too though and just do some automatic kind of cool things with them. You don't have to keep it, you don't even have to tell it to do that, but it's really neat. The other thing is it'll automatically make animations out of if you have like burst shots. So I took a burst shot here because I was trying to get my daughter to look at the camera. So I just did a bunch of uh, shots in a row and it backed them up automatically. Um, and it actually made that animation, which, you know, it's not something that that's, that's that great. But sometimes when you do burst shots or um, you take video of something, it, it it's actually a really cool animation. Like if you're, say you're, you know, recording your kid playing soccer or something and or you're uh, doing burst shots of him playing soccer. Um, it can make an animation out of that that you can then share with people. Um, and that's another just kind of neat addition that it puts on there. Um, and like I said, you can also do it yourself. And much like Facebook, it has the on this day type of uh, type of uh, setting on there too, is that, that you can go back and rediscover some of the photos that were uploaded in the past. Um, so I kind of like Google Photos the best out of all of them. Um, I tend to use multiple devices too, so it's very uh, user friendly, friendly for me. But that un unlimited storage option, in my opinion, you can't beat it. Um, so that's those are the three kind of basic things that I recommend for uh, backing up your photos. Um, if you have any questions or comments on this, please uh, comment on this video and let us know. Give us some feedback. Uh, let us know how we're doing. And thanks for watching Helper Geeks.